The House of Representatives is back in business, and the Democrats, despite losing control, are laughing. They are laughing at the Republicans who are struggling to elect a speaker. Without a speaker, nothing gets done. Members can't even be sworn in. This is a self-inflicted wound. The vast majority of Republican members want Kevin McCarthy. A handful don't want him. McCarthy gave in to their demands, but at this point, as a vote is about to be taken, they seem determined to embarrass their own party. Trump wants McCarthy. Jim Jordan and other conservatives want McCarthy. It's hard to understand the rebels' position. They can't win. They simply produce chaos and division. You know, this is easy to dismiss as just another round of political infighting, nonsense in Congress. But for those who want to see a robust challenge to the increasingly leftist Democrat Party, it is dismaying. We're about to raise taxes on business just as we head into recession. We're about to spend a fortune on the border, not keeping people out, but to process millions more coming in. How will House Republicans deal with these crises if they embarrass their own leadership? I'll leave it with this. The front page headline in the New York Post, stop sabotaging McCarthy's bid to be speaker.